Hey everybody, DJ Trains here. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, then you know that recently I've made quite a few posts about the Thomas and Friends 2014 DVD, Spills and Thrills. Um, it's a DVD that I quite like, um, and that I was kind of reminiscent about, and I was posting a lot of pictures um, of things related to it on Twitter, as well as my Spills and Thrills merchandise, which I've collected quite a bit of. So I thought, well, what better way to continue that than to showcase my entire Spills and Thrills merchandise collection, as well as talk about it and kind of do a, a bit of a retrospective. So, without further ado, this is my Spills and Thrills merchandise showcase. So first off, we've got the DVD of Spills and Thrills. Like I said, this came out in 2014 for the uh, 17th, it was spring, 20, spring 2014 for the 17th season of um, Thomas and Friends. And it was right after Mattel acquired the brand and they revamped it. And this is a great little DVD. It's got all kinds of memorable episodes such as um, Away from the Sea, The Afternoon Tea Express, James and the Smelly Kipper. Um, you know, it's it, it's just a, it's just a fun little DVD. And the merchandise that came out with it is also really cool. So that's the DVD. Um, and we'll get into the merchandise. So, firstly, we have the 2014 Special Edition Spills and Thrills Thomas. It's basically just a normal uh, 2013 Thomas. It's actually labeled uh, Collector Thomas underneath. I don't know if you can see that. Collector Thomas. Um, but, yeah. It's covered in paint to represent kind of the, the theme of the movie or the DVD, which was... You know, spills and thrills and that kind of thing. Even though this never actually appeared in uh, in the uh, DVD. Um, yeah, so it's a nice thing. I got this for Easter one year. It's a great little piece of merchandise. I love it a lot. So that's that, Thomas. Next, we have James and the Flying Kipper, or Smelly Kipper. I forget what it's actually called. But basically, it's just James with these really cool fish decorations. And this little bit of decal that can come on and off. And it's basically just meant to represent um, James from the episode James and the Smelly Kipper. Which is an episode that I quite like. And I love this James. It's like I'll, I'll hook him up to my other Brendam cars and pull a nice little consist of cars from Brendam Docks. It's fun. I like it a lot. So that's James and the Smelly Kipper. Next we have Stephen... Uh, Steven Sticky Delivery. This is based off of the episode um, uh, The Afternoon Tea Express. And in the episode, uh, Steven crashes and jam and jelly goes all over him. And it's great. Um, also, another feature I forgot to mention was this. Where if you press down... Oh, shoot. If you press down on these um, just right, it like springboards um, the cargo into the air. And it's the same same on that one, too. But there's a button that you press, and it's supposed to springboard this into the air. I can't get it to work on camera now just because I have it, I have it on camera. But yeah, this is a nice model. It's got nice little um, jam and jelly decorations. And like, again, there's this removable piece, which I think is really cool. Um, so yeah, so that's the Afternoon Tea Express. So now we're going to get into the Spills and Thrills Crash Sets. So... These sets are interesting because they were never actually featured in any episode, but they were heavily tied in with the marketing of the DVD, and they were labeled as part of the Spills and Thrills collection. Um, so first off, we have Bash's Tree Tumble. And basically, before I get into this, I just want to show how these sets work. So basically, these sets have these little, um, these little clip-on decorations, very similar to uh, Stevens and James's over there. Except with these, what you do, sorry, pardon my hand, you clip it into this here. See, it sticks in there via a little hook. You stick it in there, and then if I can just set this properly, down properly, you take uh, the engine, I should just turn this this way, I'll move my camera a little bit. You take the engine, and you push it, and it goes up and over, it knocks over that, and when it comes out, it's got the decor on it. So it's like a nice little crash set. So this one is Bash's Tree Tumble, and this was one of the, probably the second one I got. I like it a lot. It's nice. Probably the second, like I said, probably the second one I got. 
So that's Bash's Tree Tumble. Next, we have uh, Whiff's Banana Split, I think it was called. Um, this one was the first one like, I received, actually. Um, so this one's very similar. So all of them have the red clip here, except for Bash's Tree Tumble, which is weird. Um, but yeah, this one works the exact same as... Oh, that was a little slow. I don't know why that was like that. This one works the exact same as Bash's Tree Tumble. It's just the way it does it. Um, so yeah. This one's really playing up. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, but yeah, same as Bash's Tree Tumble pretty well. So that's that one. Next we have Paxson's Snowy Delivery, I think is what it was called. Probably should have Googled this before I started this recording. And it's the same as the other ones. Um, yeah. Also, I just want to note that these little um, things here, they make for really good background scenery on layouts, I've noticed. Um, so yeah, they make really they make for really good scenery. Let me just turn my camera so you can actually see Paxton. Oh, that, that didn't work. But yeah, Paxton gets covered in a snowplow. I also forgot to show that Whiff gets covered in banana peels, which I think is kind of funny. So yeah, I think, I think it's called Paxton Snowy Delivery. Then we have this one, which strangely enough was actually tied in with Tale of the Brave as well, which I, because of the sandbags, because in the movie Thomas gets covered in sandbags. So it, it was tied in with um, Tale of the Brave as well. So he goes up and over and gets covered in the sandbags. And that's, I, I forgot what this one is called. I think it's called um, Thomas and Cranky's Doctor. Shoot. I think it's called Thomas and Cranky's Dockyard Mix-Up or something. I forget. But yeah, so this is a nice set. I like that one a lot. Um, and this one here, this one I think is called Toby and the Spooky Barn. This one was also tied in with Tale of the Brave. And it's interesting because you have this dynamic where these sets are very much tied in with the Spills and Thrills DVD. But yet they're also tied in with the Tale of the Brave DVD, which isn't which isn't a bad thing. It's just really interesting to see. So again, this one goes up, and he comes out, and Toby has like a bunch of barn wood and a barn owl, which I think is kind of cool. Okay, so lastly for the smaller spills and thrills sets, we have Stanley's Construction Clash, and I'm not gonna I'm gonna keep this brief because I want to get onto the last set I have which I think is amazing. Um, so this one, basically the same thing, clips in here, um, close this up, and then Stanley goes in and goes over, and out he comes, covered in cement and, and uh, pylons, and all kinds of cool stuff. So yeah, so that's Stanley's construction clash, and I'm really quickly just gonna move all of the stuff behind me, because the sets are all sitting on the floor uh, behind me. And I'm going to switch the camera so it faces the train table um, because the set I'm about to show you all is probably one of like the most interesting uh, take along, take and play, take and play, sorry, one of the most interesting take and play sets that I've ever owned. Um, and it's interesting for multiple reasons. So let me just turn my camera around. This set is the, let me just back my camera up a little bit actually. This set is the 2013-2014, I think it was 2014, Spills and Thrills set. So it comes with this Thomas, sorry, I'm trying to see my camera. It comes with this Thomas with the green paint. And it actually has the feature of the other Spills and Thrills sets where it comes down and hits this and it knocks it over. But this one's interesting because not only is it a lot taller, but it's different because there's a lot more features and it doesn't actually, like, it's one of the only taken place sets that stands up against a wall and it's interesting because of that so i will now demonstrate how it works so first thomas you let him go here hits the signal goes over the drawbridge knocks that down and comes out covered in paint and this is by far this this is one of the most fun sets i ever had as a kid because it's, it's just neat to watch thomas go down um in all of this chaos so yeah so this is thomas from the spills and thrills set um so yeah, um, so let me just turn my camera back around now. So, all right, so now that we're kind of done that, I just want to thank everyone for coming and listening to me ramble on about this DVD that I love so much. 
because I do love the Spills and Thrills DVD, and I don't think it gets enough attention on Twitter and stuff. Like, it needs more attention. And yeah, the episodes aren't perfect, but I still think they're pretty great. So thanks for watching, thanks for looking at my collection, and yeah, just thanks for watching.